let's make some quilted pillow covers. Now, if you're a quilter like me, who really hates buttons and zippers, here's how I get around that. An envelope cover. For this project, you'll need some quilt batting. I like to use the leftover batting for my quilts. We'll need a quilting ruler, a measuring tape, some spooky fabric. I used almost a yard for each pillow. Some scissors or rotary cutter. And then I also like to use some basting pens or sometimes some 505 basting spray. And then we also need some backing fabric. You're gonna need the same amount for the backing as you need for the front. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is measure our pillow from seam to seam. Mine is 18 and a half, so I'm going to be cutting my fabric an inch and a half wider, 20 by 20. So let's say you have a pillow that's 15 by 15, you'd want to cut it 16 and a half by 16 and a half. And then you'll need the same size for your backing. So I did 20 by 20 and you can see I've already skipped a step and I've quilted it. And the batting is in between there. For the back of the pillow, we cut two pieces of backing fabric and front fabric. These are 12 inches tall and 20 inches wide and you need two for the front and two for the backing. And you can see I've already basted these with the batting and quilted them. Now the way we put these together is by putting the right sides together. So our front fabric will go down first and then our two back pieces will go down right sides together like this. You should have about four inches overlapping and that's how we avoid the buttons and zippers. Next thing we need to do is fold this up and hem it a little bit. I do a half an inch. And if you have directional fabric, like I do, make sure that both of your fabric pieces are going the right way and you hem the parts that are in the middle. Now, because we're going through a lot of fabric here, I'm using a walking foot and I have my stitch length set to a four. And I'm going to do a double stitch here. That envelope part of your pillow is going to get a lot of wear and tear. So I wanna make sure that everything stays down really well. Now for the next part, the final layout, we're gonna put our two hemmed sides into the middle and they're going to overlap. So we make sure that they line up at the top and sides of our quilted front. And that way we can pin or clip all around the edges. We're going to be sewing with a half an inch seam all the way around. Now when it's time for sewing, again, use your walking foot, have a very long stitch length, I do a four. And when I go over the overlap area, I make sure to do several back stitches there. It's gonna get lots of wear and tear as you put pillows in and out of it. The last step here is cutting off the corners. Not too close to your stitching, but trim off all four corners there. Then all you need to do is pull your envelope inside out. Make sure you poke out the corners really well when you stuff your pillow in there. And voila the perfect envelope pillow cover. Let's go do some more.